All right, I'm gonna make this quick. Uh, this is one of my first YouTube videos, so thanks for watching it. And I'm gonna walk you through my process pretty quickly and loosely. I'm gonna try to keep it under like 10 minutes of drawing these characters from my one of my favorite shows as a child called Doug, which hopefully everybody knows. That was a Nickelodeon show, it's really great. Mostly I'm gonna be working in, I'm gonna sketch in Photoshop here on my Wacom Move Ink, which is really cool, very thin. It's connected to my MacBook, and then I will be tracing them, tracing the sketches that I do over in Illustrator. Uh, I'll walk through some of that process and try to talk through it and then bring them from uh, Illustrator over into Photoshop, do a little bit of post-processing and texturing and stuff like that over there. And we should have a quick result. But otherwise, yeah, I don't know. Let's just have fun. And my idea is that this is kind of a chill video where you're watching me draw and I'll talk through a little bit of it. So on my screen here, we have all the characters from Doug. I'm gonna choose six and I'm gonna do Doug, of course, Skeeter, Patty, Roger. Actually, is it gonna be all in order? I'll do Roger and Porkchop. One, two, three, four. Oh, uh, and we'll do uh, Ju Judy, is her name? Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna stick with these and I'll probably just do maybe one or two for the sake of this video and then I'll show you all of them at the end. But I'm working in Photoshop here. I have my reference on one layer and then basically make a new layer and I'm working with just a really simple brush. When I'm doing any of my sketching, I really don't care a ton about my tools. I'm basically just gonna draw with kind of a fat brush, get the shapes figured out, but also try to push them as much as I can. Doug is such an easily recognizable character that I should be able to skew things quite a bit and move his face around and just capitalize on the few um, main characteristics that he has and people will still know who he is. So obviously with Doug, um, <laughs> there's this episode where like Skeeter's little brother says he has a big nose. He's like, Doug, Doug, big nose. Um, that's it, right? It's like his big nose. And then he's got like this, like this, like weak ass hair up top. I'm just going to draw. It's basically, I'm just drawing what I think is fun. I'm just going to focus on their faces. So I'm going to give his neck and then this big goofy head like this. And my first sketch is always going to be kind of weak. And then I just lower the opacity and draw it again. I want his head to be, um, I'm like, he needs that big ass nose. And I'm going to try to push that even further. And then little eyeballs and his weak, silly hair. And I give him a smile. He's always generally happy. I mean, he's always smiling. He's not necessarily a happy person. He's kind of a dummy, but he, he he's always smiling. That'll do for now. And maybe let's just draw Skeeter just for like the lineup. Skeeter's got like a taller head with like a skinny chin jaw. And so everything with like my style, if you're not familiar with my work, is pretty naive, not super accurate. It's more just about like capturing fun shapes, stacking them up and telling a story. And Skeeter's got like weak ass hair too. Yeah, he's got weak hair. I think it's more straight. Roger has like, he's all sharp. He's like sharper angles. He's kind of an asshole or he's a wicked asshole. He comes from probably like a broken home or whatever, but man, he's such a fucking asshole. I think the first episode of the series is him like wanting to fight Doug after school, which I think is also the first episode of the series of um, Hey Arnold, where Harold wants to fight um, Arnold. But yeah, I'm going to play up this Roger being a shithead kind of vibe with like these evil brows. Porkchop's gonna be tricky. I might draw a little bit closer to him just because I don't know how to draw him. He's got like this square head and then a big giant nose and then like a cheek out and then his head goes down like that. And this turns into a smile and then he's got big eyes and he's got shitty hair too and then ears. And then I'll give him like his little dog tag. That's probably good enough. So I'm gonna grab that, just use the lasso tool, cut it. Um, his like square head is cool with me. His little cheek worked. I think most of the design worked. It just needs to be a little bit better. Maybe do eyes closed because he's always like daydreaming about food or something, I think. I kind of forget what his deal was. I want to go a little bit more wonky with the shapes here, like that. Just line there and give him a shot. I'm going to put a shadow where his nose is kind of casting just to highlight how damn big it is and give him his eyes still. 
and give him more like sincere eyebrows and then still this shitty ass hair. I don't know how many hair things he had. It doesn't really matter. Also, I'm gonna make one of the hairs, but not the middle one. I'm gonna make the second hair, like a curly Q. Like, mm, that's cool. That's funny to me. Mm, looking at Roger, I think he needs, oh, he's got this like, his like buzz cut thing. Cause he's like in a cult or a gang or whatever. Um, okay, let's do it. Let's just draw it again. I like the flat head. I think he might make fun of Doug for his nose too. There's like, is this dude is covered in insecurities. It's horrible. It's really sad. I don't remember much about his arc, but definitely a real piece of shit. I mean, grade A piece of shit. Don't forget his dumbass fucking hair. Uh, he's got kitty cat shitty ears. <laughs> I don't actually care that much about. I don't know. I don't hate him as much as I sound like I'm hating him. I'm leaning into that, but I just remember him being a bully. That fucking piece of shit asshole. <laughs> yeah, let's jump over to Illustrator and start playing with the shapes. I'll probably, I keep saying this, I'll probably only do a couple of them. So I just paste into Illustrator uh, on a layer, call it source and lock it. Actually, I'll probably lower the opacity a bit and lock it and then make a new layer. I'm just gonna trace my shapes. So I'm just using the pen tool. I use Astute Graphics plugins in Illustrator, which is really helpful and really great, but um, I'm not doing anything that you can't do in native Illustrator. I'm gonna start with Doug because I know I'm the best and I feel best about the sketch. And I'm going to start with a just a black stroke and bump it up a little bit. Again, like I'm not trying to go for perfect. I'm not animating this or anything. So it's just going to be like intentionally kind of bad vectoring for the sake of getting these like wonky shapes. Like this extra point does not need to be here, but I like it because it sort of kinks the shape a little bit. I know this is going to go underneath the nose, so I'm not worried about the overlaps. Again, I'm just like getting my shapes ready and good. Creepy little pupils checking out Patty. I'm going to use the pencil tool or draw scribe. Pencil tool works in Illustrator, but I use draw scribe, which is basically like a better pencil tool from Astute Graphics. Um, I can leave a link in the description to the Astute Graphics. I think you can get a free trial. That'll work. I'm gonna drop in a couple bits of color and then add a little bit of detail. That'll be the next thing. So what I do first is I'm gonna grab just like a fleshy pinky, something maybe like that. Close to the show, but not super close. And I'm gonna keep my outline for now just so I can see what I'm doing, but I will be removing my outline later. But now that I have everything outlined, I can kind of arrange things. I'm just cutting and pasting in front or pasting in back. So I'm just cutting it with Command X and then highlighting the shape I want it to go before or behind and then pushing Command B to go and paste in back. Uh, this eye, I'm gonna grab both cut and then select the shape and paste in front. That way it's on top of this shape, therefore it would be behind the nose. Now I feel good enough with the colors or what I'm gonna do is add some shadows. So I'll choose like black for now and then just take the two shapes and use the path or the shape builder tool and just remove that and then cut it, paste it in the ear. I'll do the same with this ear. Mm -mm. And I'm gonna make these shadows like the same color, but a little bit darker and then change the hue a little bit to be like this darker red. Same here, same here. Now I'm just gonna start selecting to push D on the stroke to remove the stroke. I'm gonna push this nose out a bit too with the shadow. This feels good. I'm feeling pretty happy with this overall. Uh, yeah, maybe make this ear a little bit smaller. Group it, and now he's good. Uh, I'll try to show a time lapse if I finish recording that of the rest of these and talk over it a little bit. All right, I told you that I would talk over this, so um, I don't know, it's more of the same. I'm just uh, using a black line and just getting my shapes figured out and then either cutting and pasting them in front or in back and then using my really simple color palette to just uh, fill in the shapes. Like everything can be changed as I need it to in Illustrator later, so it's never, um, nothing's really super permanent. Uh, pork chop is basically done and then Patty, same thing. I wanted her hair to be like a sunflower because she's like a ray of light oh, this fucking goddamn roger god 
and then um, arranging things like a million times until it finally gets right. Again, that's the great thing about Illustrator is you can just keep playing around until it feels good. I added a little bit more detail in Doug here, um, but mostly what you saw out of these hearts, you know, I grouped all of them and started dragging them around just to figure out who goes where and what makes the most sense. Roger is looking down, we get this kind of thing going on and these two are like bookmarking each other. And then the two women are just in the center, which I guess kind of works and balances. Now let's jump over to Photoshop super fast and just show you my really basic um, texturing stuff that I do. So I'm in Photoshop uh, and I'm just adding like really basic stuff to this drawing. So I copy and pasted it over in as a smart object. So I copied from Illustrator, pasted into Photoshop, smart object. That way I can scale it up and down to Photoshop without losing quality. So all I did with this file is just um, added a little bit of roughening to the edges and added a little bit of texture. I just scanned in some paper. You can get things from like True Grit, Texture Supply or Retro Supply Co or whatever they are. Um, and like those will work too. But I just like had this like piece of paper that I scanned, dropped it in the background and then set um, these characters to multiply. So it just picks up uh, some of the texture underneath. But yeah, that's all. I will do more of this if it's cool. And I hope that it's fun to see, hopefully relaxing to see. Maybe I could have used like a more calm like ASMR kind of voice, which I'll do in the future. But all we had to do was basically just focus on simple shapes. Remember our sketching was not very complicated and Roger's a fucking piece of shit. He's the biggest piece of shit I've ever met in my entire life. And I hate him so much. And I am so glad that he dies at the end of the series. <laughs> Spoilers. He dies, he gets murdered. Alright, uh, I gotta go. It's cold in the studio and the fire ran out. Anyway, I gotta go. I love you so much. And thank you. And I I would honestly say please subscribe or like the video. Um I don't like Instagram is dying. I don't wanna be on Instagram anymore. I wanna be on YouTube. So just like help me out and like support me here. And we will I promise you we can change the fucking world through these videos of me drawing characters of Doug. I'll do Hey Arnold next. I'll do, I'll take requests. I don't give a shit. What do you want to see? Powerpuff Girls? I'll do Powerpuff Girls. Angry Beavers? I'll do Cat Dog. I didn't even like Cat Dog. I thought that was a boring, dumb show, but I will do it. I'll do Rocket Power. I like Rocket Power. I'll do, um, I don't know. Leave it. Tell me what you want me to do next. I promise you. I swear to God, I will do it. If I don't do it, you can come to my house and murder me. <laughs> okay, bye. Thank you very much. Love you.